Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to day five of the 12 days of Christmas. This is the picture that I'm going to scrap of my two oldest grandsons. And I've got some dies. I'm hoping I got them all well. Wait, yeah. And then there's a couple of punches. Well, I have all but one, but I don't think I'm going to be using that one. But I have Tim Holtz dies. Just this one of Anna Griffin. Another Tim Holtz die, and I have this one cut out, which I may use too. I have Thin Cuts by Close to My Heart. I have my letterbox dies. And then I added these Tim Holtz uh, Ideology Festive Ephemera Pack. I was trying to read. <laughs> Just to make sure I got it right. But I cut out all of these. And this is a Tim Holtz one. It's uh, Festive Greenery, I think it's called. Or Festive Greens. And I cut it out in vanilla. Inked it in antique linen. Then I punched out one eighth inch little red dots. And this is an Echo Park paper. And I used it. And then I took my white gel pen and highlighted them. And everything else I think I, well, a lot of them I inked. I may not have inked them all though. But, uh, yeah, a lot are inked. But I think all the ones I'm going to use are inked. And this... I got this at uh, a cherry on top on their Black Friday sale. It come in a little kit. And I wanted to use red with it to use to match this. Well, the paper that had the red on the back, I, it was like my second choice to use for my layout. And I really liked it, so I decided I'd pull out the Echo Park because it was close enough to work. And this was part of the ephemera from there. And part, of, there's more in here. And I do have my title cut out. And it is going to be the first thing I put on the layout. Because I want to make sure I have room for it before I do anything else. But to get on with my layout. So this paper it is gorgeous <laughs> and the other side it's well it's pretty plain on the other side I'm looking at it right now but I love this side so of course I wanted to use it and I cut out the tradition and I did three layers of black and then that pattern paper from Echo Park and uh, yeah I wanted it to be a little more high profile I could have used a thicker or something that was black to start with because you know there is some black that's going to be used on the layout but I really wanted red and then I used the uh, I had the hardest time remembering the name of my favorite little die um, it is a uh, letterbox <laughs> I keep thinking it should be called something else but I'm going to make a banner to go behind there. There was like a red looking piece that I started to use. It was ephemera from the 49 and market. But <laughs> once I matted the photo, it was a little on the short side. So I decided to make the banner instead. And of course, you know, I had to measure it to make sure I had room for it. And that uh, it was going to fit where I was wanting it. There is like stitching on there, and my first plan was to put the photo there. And I put it there, and I thought, boy, that's awful high for the photo. And I kept looking at it and trying it, you know, because I was trying to think what else I was going to have to go with the photo. And I thought, well, yesterday my photo was kind of high because I had stuff down in the bottom right-hand corner, and I wanted to have room for it. Well... I finally decided I'd put that ephemera there and yeah that worked out and I did cut a chunk out of it since it wasn't going to be seen anyway to use on another layout. That leaf there is Anna Griffin and I cut one the opposite way and then I used a 
bone folder because you know how when you cut it out and it's the opposite way it kind of has those cut marks standing up so I used the bone folder and smoothed them down on the one that was the opposite way and I am putting three on there and then that little branch it is Tim Holtz and I the background has some leaves and this was the closest thing I had to match the leaves that were in the background my first instinct was to put a tree on here yeah I really wanted to do it too and then I thought oh I gotta go with the flow here it's 49 and market I gotta go with what they have on here I've never had 49 and market before so yeah I went ahead and pulled that branch out and cut it out I am sticking one little piece of uh, pine on there pine branch and then I'm gonna put put I think two little pieces down in the other cluster but I wanted a little bit of pine well I might put a couple up there keep an eye on me to see if I did one or two anyway I, I thought I really want it because there's a lot of pine in my area and I wanted to have it on there my photo is a picture of my grandsons like I said and they have gone a few times to Branson they have a Christmas light thing a big festival it's mostly a summer tourist spot but at Christmas they have after Thanksgiving they have everything decorated for Christmas and lots of lights and trees and everything and she want my daughter wanted the boys to get their picture taken so she could send it to me and they did not want to do it at first and she said you know she'll want to scrapbook it and finally she just <laughs> insisted and they smiled real good they, they did real good because they know I will go ahead and scrap that photo that oldest grandson there was a few times he put his hand in front of his face and I scrapped him so he quit putting his hand in front of his face they all know that whatever I get I am going to scrapbook so I hardly ever get something like that but I like it when I do because I got the story to tell um, I use that Tim Holtz ephemera 2 and that one is like a ticket it's for Christmas greetings first something <laughs> it's kind of hard to read it's kind of worn looking and vintage but since the 49 and market stuff was already I immediate, immediately I can't talk immediately thought of the Tim Holtz stuff and there's a few in there that I don't want to use because I plan on doing a layout of my childhood and using those because of the boxes I remember as a kid look a lot like them and I want to put them on a layout I have no picture of me with you know at Christmas other than one that was took with Santa Claus one time with my two of my brothers and my sister and so I have used it on a layout when I first started scrapbooking but I'm thinking about doing another one with those pieces somehow and uh, yeah I use them because they just brought back so many memories when I seen them I am rambling while I'm putting stuff on the layout that little Santa Claus is 49 in market and I thought you know it's the really vintage one and I thought oh that is just too cute I got to use it on my layout since I'm using all this other vintage looking stuff and at first I thought I'd be using the pine cones on my layout and they are in that little bowl but then I got to thinking I'd really like the red of the poinsettia instead so I used them all yeah I don't have any left for another layout I'll have to come up with something else and cones but uh there that little frame you know it looks like a candy cane frame I thought oh that's so cute I'm gonna have to use it and then I cover most of it up I could have cut it in half probably at an angle and used half of it instead but no I covered half of it up in with all that goodness I mean it's just really cute ephemera and really vintage looking and of course I got to put some greenery in there too so I will be covering part of it up but not all of it and then there was a couple of well three I think of these little pieces of ephemera in the Tim Holtz stuff and it's 
They were like special delivery and postal something. I can't remember. But I decided to use the special delivery on here. And um, yeah, I thought it was cute. I think there was one that was airmail, but I used it a long time ago. And it wasn't on a Christmas layout. I used it on my grandson's trip to D.C. for an airplane because it was a airmail plane plane, you know kind of thing a vintage one. Oh, and the title being honoring a family tradition was because she always has them to take a photo to send to me and yeah they might not have 100 percent been willing but it was honoring a family tradition especially since they smiled and um at the very last minute after i do my splatters and everything if you look over there to the left, there's a piece of wax paper with some words on it. Well, it's Branson Magic. And I had it intended to somehow put it down there in that cluster I am working on now. I hadn't figured out how yet, but that's what I intended. But I forgot all about it. And I'll put my splatters down and get ready to finish my layout. You know, show it to you all. And think, oh my goodness, I forgot all about that. So I will do it after the splatters, but I will let them dry just a little bit. And I, they weren't 100% dry, but I was very careful. Well, I did get a little bit on the bottom of my hands. I noticed it later. That's why I know it wasn't 100% dry and I got in too big a hurry. But uh, I seen that bird in there, so I pulled it out and put it in the bowl. And I thought, well, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. But when I seen it again, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to put it up higher, you know, like it's on a branch coming out there. Well, it is on a branch and put a little cluster with it. And I might have done it a little bit different if I'd remembered the Branson magic before then. But I like how it turned out. So I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how my first idea would have turned out. So, yeah, I like how it turned out. So uh, I'm going with it. You know how it is. You picture something in your mind, and then when you actually go to do it, it may or may not work out. So I don't know if the Branson magic down there would have worked out or not as much other stuff as I have there. But this photo was taken at night, and so I lightened it. And, you know, when you lighten it, the background lightens too. <laughs> And so I softened the background so it wouldn't show up quite as much that the tree and the boys would show up more. But there's my splatters. They are Dilutions White. And yeah, I like them because they do stay white instead of fading out. And so here's where I think, okay, I'm going to have to have something to put the Branson Magic on because I made it red thinking I was going to somehow figure out how to put it down there. But it will not go on that red. Well, it's the same thing. <laughs> I used the same paper for it. So I had to find something. I went through the ephemera of both ephemera packs and finally decided on this. And it's uh, not 100% white. It kind of looks it on the video, but it's not. And I didn't want to use it all because you know I can use some more later. So I cut it down a little bit and I was trying to decide how much I needed to have it fit on there like I wanted and still get the Ma uh, Branson Magic to fit too. So it finally worked out and then that one spot looked so big and then I thought I probably should have had the whole thing there and not put all that greenery and stuff there and had it come down I, thought, I have to fix it some way. So I'm just going to put a tiny if you can believe cluster there. But while I'm thinking of it, be sure to look down there below to see who else is on the hop and see what they created for the 12 days of Christmas today. But yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And I had fun making it. And there is my very vintage Santa. Although I did pull out my Coca-Cola head Santa thinking I'd use it. But I kept thinking about him and had to use him instead. 
and there's my title using that pattern paper which i really liked and you can tell that i have the black underneath it and uh, made it more dimensional and there's my little cluster that you can barely see the candy cane but it is on there and you can see it and uh yeah the poinsettia which like i said i used them all they're so cute and there's the cardinal and the cluster with it, the Branson Magic, and see that little branch where I punched out all those little berries and took my white gel pen and highlighted them and inked it. So, yeah, I think it looks really good on the layout, so I'm happy I took the time to do it. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But have a, have a happy scrappy day. Take care and stay safe. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.